Hello, my name is Son. And I'm Giselle. And we're going to be talking about songs today. Um, poems are already more memorable than the most ordinary speech, and when music is combined with poetry, the result, a song, can be more memorable still. Devices of sound and rhythm together with metaphor produce a pleasing effect and become even more memorable when set to music. Now, the definition of a song is music combined with poetry. Refrains are words, phrases, or lines repeated at intervals in a song or song-like poem. A refrain usually follows immediately after a stanza, and when it does, it is called terminal refrain. A refrain whose words change slightly with each recurrence is called an incremental refrain. An internal refrain is one that appears within a stanza, generally in a position that stays fixed throughout the poem. For example, The Cruel Mother, a traditional Scottish ballad, which is written anonymously, states, she sat down below a thorn, fine flowers in the valley, and there she has her sweet babe born, and the green leaves they grow rarely. Smile na say, my bonnie baby, my bonnie babe, fine flowers in the valley, and ye smile say sweet, you'll smile me dead, and the green leaves they grow rarely. She's laying out her little pen knife, fine flowers in the valley, and twin the sweet babe, oh it's life, and the green leaves, they grow rarely. So in this example, the refrain is find flowers in the valley and the green leaves, they grow rarely. Next is uh, Madrigal. Um, uh, many of the poems of the of older days are put together with music to make songs, rather than songwriters and poets being separate. In Shakespeare's days, madrigals of this form are very popular. Now, the definition of a madrigal is short secular songs or three or more voices arranging counterpoint. An example of a madrigal is Take, O, Take, Those Lips Away by William Shakespeare, which, uh, which writes, Take, O, Take, Those Lips Away, that so sweetly were forsworn. In those eyes, the break of day, lights that do mislead the morn. But my kisses bring again, bring again, seals of love, but sealed in vain, sealed in vain. Ballads are any narrative song that may be any narrative song. Folk ballads are loosely defined as anonymous story songs transmitted orally before they were ever written down. Broadside ballads are related to tradi traditional folk ballads but display characteristics of their own. These were often set to traditional tunes. Literary ballads are written by sophisticated poets for book educated readers who enjoy being reminded of folk ballads. These are not meant for singing. For example, in Clerk Saunders, a border ballad from Child Volume 3, it reads, Clerk Saunders and Maid Margaret walked o'er yon garden green, and deep and heavy, heavy was the love that fell their twa between. So in this case, this is called a ballad stanza, in which four lines rhymed A, B, C, B, tending to fall into eight, six, eight, and six syllables. Uh, next are the blues, which was originally a type of folk music developed by black slaves in the South. And they traditionally consist of three line stanzas in which the first two lines are identical, followed by a rhyming third stanza, or third line, rather. The blues have been more influential than any other form of songs in recent years. Its influence shapes today's jazz, rap, rock, gospel, and country music. They often speak of sadness, pain, or deprivation, especially loss of a loved one, and depicts gritty everyday life. One of the examples of blues is Jailhouse Blues by Bessie Smith with Clarence Williams, and it says, 30 days in jail with my back turned to the wall. 30 days in jail with my back turned to the wall. Look here, Mr. Jailkeeper, put another gal in my stall. I don't mind being in jail, but I got to stay there so long. I don't mind being in jail, but I got to stay there so long. Well, every friend I had, has done shook hands and gone. You better stop your man from tickling me under my shin. You better stop your man from tickling me under my shin. Cause if he keeps on tickling, I'm sure gonna take him in. Good morning, Blues. Blues, how do you do? Good morning, Blues. Blues, how do you do? Well, I just come here to have a few words with you. Um, it's very obvious uh, of the structure of the Blues because the first two lines are identical and then it follows by a third line, which is not identical, but still rhymes. Now, one of the most interesting musical and literary developments of the 1980s was the emergence of rap. Rap is a form of popular music in which words are recited to a driving rhythmic beat. It differed from mainstream popular music in several ways. For instance, rap lyrics are spoken rather than sung. 
In songs, the lead performer or MC talks or recites usually at top speed, long rhythmic four, four stress lines that end in rhymes. And here we have some examples of popular rappers such as Kanye West, Tupac, and Run DMC. Uh, that's it for the video. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.